welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. My name is Holly. If you are new around here, then I do cross stitch, um, anything cross stitch. I do long dog samplers, ham and earth designs, um, full coverages. I do um, mirror, well, say mirror, mirror billiards. I'll talk about that in a second. Primrose Cottage, drawn, the drawn thread, uh, Cricut Collection. Silver Creek samplers to name a, a few. So I absolutely love pretty much anything cross stitch. Anything that I feel that is going to go on my wall that I can, I, I like sort of putting anything that I cross stitch on my wall. Um, so anything that takes my fancy or, you know, that I, I it looks appealing to me, I, I, I buy it. <laughs> so um, I just want to put it out there because a lot of people say put it out there. I just want to say before I get started, I've got a lot of friends um, that started as subscribers and have become friends and we're, you know, on Facebook and um, we had a tornado that came through Covington on um, Thursday. It's now, this is Monday. So Thursday just gone, um, which was a pretty bad tornado. Uh, it's done a lot of damage to a lot of people's homes. It's... Um, it tore through Covington, uh, Jackson as well, and it's just been a bit of a nightmare. Now, I just wanna say thank you to everyone who reached out to me to ask me if I was okay, I am. I was one of the lucky ones. Uh, as you can tell, my camper is still standing. There's no serious damage. Um, I got the text and then the siren, you know, obviously the siren went off to say that you need to evacuate. I got the text to say that you need to get out of your camper RV or if you're in a house, you need to be, you know, in your basement or somewhere where there's no windows. Um, so I literally packed up my cat. I mean, it was so windy outside. It was like something out of, I can't even explain it, like Harry Potter in one of the movies, either the third or fourth one, where the, um, it might have actually been like the fifth one actually, where the the sky goes so dark. It went from almost glorious sunshine to like seriously dark within seconds and the wind was unbelievable. So once I got that text, I was on the phone to my neighbor who lives, well, she's about a quarter of a mile down the road, but she's kind of adjacent to me. I bought my land from her. Um, so I was on the phone to her crying because I've never lived through something like this before. And when I got that text, I was like, oh my God, you know, everything is gonna, I'm, I'm gonna lose everything. Uh, I just didn't have enough time to pack up all my cross stitch stuff and everything that I'd, you know, worked on for years and years or anything like that. I literally had time to get my cats in a box because they were in because it was so windy to open up the gate to my horses so that if they needed to run and get away, they could. Um, and I literally bombed it across my land. Um, I closed the gate behind me, um, which goes directly onto a road just so they couldn't get onto the road. And then I literally bombed it to my neighbours and we sat in her basement whilst it all you know whilst the tornado did its thing so i was there till about eight nine o'clock and then came back the thunder and lightning was like crazy but managed to come back had electric luckily it kept going on and off but I had electric my bookkeeper however hasn't had electric since well she's literally came home from work today and she phoned me saying holly i've got electric I was like, oh, fantastic, because I kept saying to her, look, you know, if you need somewhere to go, you need a shower, hot meal, you know, somewhere to stay, bring your cats, you know, it's warm, I've got tea, coffee, you know, anything like that, just please come over, because I, you know, being sat in a place with no electric, it's like no light, no heating, no hot water, no nothing, it's just the worst, and unfortunately, she hasn't got any kids that she can go to. So I've been on the phone to her sort of pretty much every day making sure that she's okay and she doesn't need anything. And then she phoned me today after work saying, oh, I've got electric. So I'm just so, I'm so happy for her, bless her. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to say a massive thank you to everyone who reached out to me. I am okay. We're all fine. Funny enough, the horses didn't even leave the field. They were just, yeah, as if nothing was even happening. They were literally munching on the hay as if nothing happened. Anyway, I don't know, whatever, silly animals. Um, so... I also want to say a massive thank you to all of my new subscribers. I don't know what's happened this month, but my whip parade has really, um, it's gone mental. It's like so many, I've got almost 4,000 views in about, when did I do my whip parade? It must've been about 13, 12, 13 days ago. Yeah, it must've been because I did it at the, um, the end of the month when I did my update. And I've had so many people comment, and I just wanna say thank you to everyone who's commented. If I haven't come back to you, it's not because I'm ignoring you, it's because I have to very 
frequently go through YouTube and check that every single comment that I've got, I've actually answered because I don't always get notifications through YouTube that, you know, I've had um, someone leave a comment. So if I haven't come back to you, I apologize. Um, it's probably just because I haven't got to your comment, not because I'm being rude and ignoring you, I promise. But I've also got 239 extra subscribers this month, which is fantastic. So thank you so much to everyone who's taken the time to subscribe to my channel. And um, I am here, as promised, to do a pattern parade. So these are patterns that I haven't started yet, that I, um, I just keep buying patterns. I'm like a serial buyer of patterns. When I'm ever gonna get the time to do all these patterns, I have no idea. I have got 40 of them, 40 that are not yet started. 18 of them are Hades, like literally. So grab yourself a brew of your choice or a, a drink of your choice, as they say in America. I have got a lovely hot chocolate. This is something I found in Publix earlier. They've opened a brand new Publix in Covington, which is fantastic. And I've never been able to find hot chocolate anywhere. And I am partial to a cup of hot chocolate, I'll tell you. So I've got a hot chocolate to get me through. Um, what I'll do is I'll go through this in the order that I've got on my table. I have split them all out. So I've got all my hades together. I've got my Primrose Cottage together, Cricket Collection, Silver Creek Samplers, you understand. So let's get stuck in. So the first one that I've got, and if you've been with me for a while, you will recognize this one because I must have started this one twice. And then twice I'm like, mm, no, I don't like it. So this one is a long dog sampler, San Susi it's called. I am, I do want to start this one again. I do really, really want to start this one again, but I just, I've got so much going on at the moment. So this is what I started it as last time and I never got rid of it. I just, I kept it for some reason. I don't really know why, but I think the reason why I restarted this one is because it was done on 32 count one over one. And even though I really liked the idea when I first started it of being able to see all the crosses like individually, as I was going, I decided in my wisdom that actually I didn't like that anymore. So this is, this is where I got to before, hang on, let me see if I can, there you go. That's where I got to before I decided that, nah, I'm gonna restart it. So as you can see, 32 count, one over one. It's quite sparse, isn't it? Um, I think the color that I did that in is 327. I think it's 327, don't hold me to that. I'm not 100% sure, you might have to go back to some of my new of my earlier earlier videos when I when I was actually stitching on this to find out what colorway this was on because I always tell people what colorway I'm working on so that's the first one that's the um long dog sampler I've only got one of those and yeah like I said it's it's one that I really want to restart but I just haven't got around to, to doing it so no there we are Okay, so the next one is, and I did all the zippers earlier, so you weren't going to be like, ah, oh, the zippers, so noisy. Um, right, the next one is New Dream Stitch. This is very similar to the bookshelf that I'm doing. I've already got a, a pattern similar to this. Um, these are those beautiful puffin, not puffin, penguin cloth bound classics. So they're all the, sense, uh, sorry, Charles Dickens and Thomas Hardy's. I think that one's a Charles Dickens. Um, Pride and Prejudice, I can't even talk today. Pride and Prejudice is this one. So that is a Jane Austen. Um, I think, is that Sense and Sensibility? Yeah, I've got that one as well. And this one is Tessa Derbyville. So that's Thomas Hardy. So I've got that book, that book, that one, and that one. I don't know what the blue one is. Oh. I don't know what the blue one is, but um, this one. And I don't know what the green one is either. Oh, Cranford, Elizabeth, something. I don't know. So I've got th uh, three of these books. Four, uh, four of them, sorry. And um, I keep getting bought them for Christmas and birthdays because I love these books. And I feel like I'm going to sneeze. I'm really sorry. Oh. No, I'm good. Okay, so yes. That, when I've done the book 
when I've done the other one to this one, the predecessor to this one, then I will start on this on this one. But I don't really want to start it until I finish the other one. But I think I'm about 40 odd percent on the other one. So yeah, it won't be long. Oh, hang on. Try not to do the zips. Okay, so the next one I absolutely love. This is from Instant Cross Stitch. And I've got one of these. If you have seen my channel when I was doing diamond painting years and years ago, we're talking like 150 million years ago now, um, there is a big diamond painting on there with an, a lion. And I absolutely love lions. Oh gosh, look at that. In fact, I might get this one out. <laughs> going through these, I'm like, right, yeah, I'm gonna do that one. I'm gonna do that one. I'm gonna do that one. This is just gonna be one of those rabbit hole nightmares, isn't it? Where there is a reason why you bought these patterns and that is because you absolutely love them. And I'm, I just cannot wait to start that one. Oh, I don't know. I really, I really wanna start this. It's so nice, isn't it? How lovely is that? That's so gorgeous. I am a massive fan of big cats and lions especially have my heart. I absolutely love lions. So, oh, I might have to, I might. <laughs> Once I finished another one, I might start this one. But the thing is, it's still so big, isn't it? It's, it's a big project. It's not like it's, you know, a small one. It's big. Okay, the next one I bought in Ocala when I was down there at a really, really beautiful little cross stitch place called, um, I wanna say the Brick Cross Stitch or something like that. So this one is a modern folk embroidery. I've not stitched one of these before, but it's very pretty. Um, I think I might get, instead of doing this in one color, I think I might just get some thread that is variegated. I think it'd be really nice to do that with a variegated thread. I'm not really too sure. I don't know what the, um, I don't know what the words mean. I think they're Latin. I might ask my dad. My, can you believe it? My dad learnt Latin in school, so he might know. But yeah, I, I think that's really pretty. Really lovely. So it's not one that is shouting at me to start, which is great. So that one might last a little bit longer. Um, okay, so we're on to Silver Creek samplers and I have a few of these. I've got five of these. So I don't know if you're gonna be able to see them in, in the packet. Let me just, no, see that's too much of a glare. Let me just take these out a second. Oh, dear me. Right, bear with one second. It's not gonna be any fun if you can't see it because there's too much glare. Oh, I am also waiting for a few patterns from 123 Stitch. I've kind of put this video off for as long as I can, but every single time I go on to check to see what my delivery status is, they've added another couple of days and then like added another couple of days and another couple of days. So I've got a feeling that whatever I ordered isn't in stock, which is fine. But you know what, they were really lovely. I had some other things on order from them as well. And I, I rang them up and I said, look, I know that you obviously don't have the pattern in stock because it keeps getting pushed back. So would you mind sending me what you do have in stock? and um, I can just wait for the other one. And the lady was really, really lovely. She was like, yeah, absolutely sure. That's no, that's no problem at all. So, right, the first one. So this is part of uh, a group. Um, so I absolutely love The Sound of Music. And when these came out, I literally fell in love. I absolutely fell in love. So the first one is, um, hang on. So, hang on, let me get this right. Okay, so it would be awful, wouldn't it, if I didn't put this in the right order, considering I've watched The Sound of Music about 100 billion times. So, do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. Okay, so the first one is do, re, from Silver Creek Samplers, gorgeous, 
The reason I haven't started this yet is because I'm very undecided about my colorway and what I'm going to do. Some people have done these really, really beautifully bright. Um, I love bright, but oh, I just don't know. I haven't seen anything that I absolutely love. Maybe the bright, but more of a pastel color. So maybe, maybe I could tone down the bright. So have the bright, but be pastel. That's maybe a, a good, a good shout. So do re me. Far. That's the next one. So there we go. Love. They're beautiful, and the thing is, is they're not overly huge either. I was originally going to do them all separately and then put them together, but I actually like the idea of them being on one piece of fabric, and I will probably do these on 32 counts. 32 count, two over two. Solar. Gorgeous. Tea. I drink with jam and bread. There we go. Tea, a drink with jam and bread. Absolutely fantastic film. Oh, I love it. And if you haven't seen it, then oh, where have you been? It's amazing. And then the next one I picked up again in this little small shop in Ocala when I was down there doing my course um, called Follow Your Heart. Um, but, oh, <laughs> I can't even read it. Follow your heart, but take your stitching with you. Gorgeous. And I think this, I, I love the colours on that. So what I might do is keep those as the colours and then just do it as a, an autumnal stitch when autumn comes around again. But um, believe me, I'm not wishing autumn to come around any too soon because I really want some sun. Not that we have really terrible weather here. Um, well, I don't know. If you'd asked me like on Thursday, I might have disagreed with you massively. But uh, I do love the sun and... The trees are so bare at the moment, like everything is so bare. So all the grass is brown. It's that horrible winter time where there's just no grass, no trees, no flowers, no fragrance. Cause I don't know if you notice springtime, you know, where you get all of the flowers coming out. The fragrance is just beautiful. So yeah, we've got none of that. Um, I'm just putting these back in there things bear with one second funnily enough it's a lot easier getting them in than it is getting them out okay so um i think that's everything for silver creek the next one is cricket collection and i've got three of these these are a little bit easier so the first one is love and carrots i can't really see the color of that very well um i've got some really beautiful light pink fabric which i think might look nice with that i'm not too sure the green i think is a really good idea because it extend it really um, makes the pink pop um so but there is also a lot of green on there isn't there you know with all these bits here and i think that bit up there is green so i don't know it's a very 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 light um pink and I think it's very slightly mottled. I think it is Sprite. Um, no, Sprint. Sprite, Sprint by 123 Stitch. And I ordered the wrong size. But it's going to be big enough for this one. So that is that one. And I might pick that one up in February around Valentine's Day. Um, the next one is Spring by Cricut Collection. I've done the winter one, finally finished. Oh, it only took me like 100 years. Um, the next one is Spring. This one here. You know what? Like, I'm not a fan of that fabric that that's on, to be fair. It just, I don't think that the colours pop on it. For example, um, this bit here gets lost in that. Um... Yeah, so the roof gets lost in this the yellowy fabric. Um, the P, no, yeah, P. <laughs> Is there a P in spring? The P also gets lost in this fabric, I think. Um, I don't know, maybe... I wouldn't necessarily say, this is my personal opinion, that that is probably... I wouldn't say that that's the best fabric that could have been used for that pattern. I definitely think that there was, there was a better option out there for that because it's just, um, I don't know, it doesn't pop. For me, I, I can't tell 
if I looked at that, I can't tell what that says unless I went really close and I was like, oh yeah, that's spring. Because the letters just seem to get lost in that fabric. The fabric is just, I think the fabric on that one is too dark. Um, yeah, it's just a shame, but you know what? I haven't decided on fabric for that one yet, which is a good thing because I don't need any more new starts. Right, the next one is Autumn by Cricut Collection. Um, the fabric choice on that I think is the same as the spring potentially, but because they're so all such autumnal colours, you know, your oranges, your browns, your greens, I think it it works. You know, your blacks. I think that one works. But I just don't think it works on spring. Um, but there you are, you can't win them all. Okay, how are we doing for time? 20 minutes. Not too bad. Let me have a swig of my uh, chocolate. Mmm, that's so good. Okay, the next one is drawn, the drawn thread. And I've got six of these. I just, for some reason, I just kept buying them. They were, I think you know what it was. There were so many on there that I liked, I just bought them all. <laughs> As you do. So, the first one is Halloween Jumble which is really pretty. Well, if I tip it like that, then you'll be able to see it. Halloween Jumble, love. So another one to leave for Halloween. I absolutely love the oranges and the purples in that one. Uh, the next one is, it's called the Little Bird Sampler. Not sure how I feel about this because there's a lot of thread on there that is one strand back stitch. But we'll see. So it's this one here. Very pretty though. So that is the pattern. Let's see if I can get you closer. That's what it will look like. And then. I mean, I don't know how long, genuinely, I don't know how long this is going to take. Um, let's get you closer. I mean, it's pretty, very pretty. Um, it's a bit, the little birds, yeah, I think you can see on the back. Um, hang on, let me go this way. There's a bit of a closer. There we go. It's pretty, but I don't know. I must have been feeling it at the time. Not sure if I'm feeling it now. It might go quite nicely in my guest room. Oh, that actually, that's probably why I bought it, because it does look like it goes really well in the guest room. And I thought, that really beautiful sort of ivory colour fabric it's on and then like you know the blue mount I thought that looked really nice and I'm totally stealing that okay so the next one is Christmas Jumble and this is another one that's gorgeous I uh, haven't started this one but I have got quite a lot going on um, with Christmassy and sort of seasonal stitches so that's this one here let me see if i can there you go this one really beautiful lovely love it christmas jumble that one is our next one is called little noel Oh, come on you, which I think is lovely as well. And I think that would be, I'll turn that up, there we go. That says, um, Noel, really lovely. So that's kind of the way, I don't know why they always put their uh, patterns diagonally on these. It makes it quite difficult to see. I mean, it's a nice, it's a nice thought, but it makes it quite difficult to see. Um, 
Okay, so the next one is Love Letters by Drawn Thread Company. Very pretty, another pretty one. These are more like pinkies and greens, more kind of my colouring. Um, yeah, really, really pretty. Yeah, very much more of a sampler. As you can tell, a lot of the pat well, before I haven't even got to my haze yet, but the patterns that I bought lately have been smaller, so I haven't got a hell of a lot to um to do. Because I'm like a serial starter, I love starting new projects. I love finishing them as well, but it just takes so long to finish them. Generally because I've got so much going on at the same time anyway. The next one is Autumn Jumble. That's really pretty. Um, oh, hang on. I'm doing this one, so I apologise. I'll show you anyway, but I have started this one, so um, this isn't. This is cheating. I don't know why it's in with this lot. I think it's because what I've done is because I've. I don't like working on. I don't like ruining like the pattern. So what I do is I take a photocopy of it and then I have a working pattern. Um, and that obviously just got put in with all the other bits to keep it nice. Sorry, that's cheating. I have, I have started that one and you've seen it as well. Okay, so the next one I am doing with Tara, one stitch at a time. This is a stitch with me. I still haven't finished the last stitch with me that we're doing, but I'm working on it. We decided that this was an absolutely beautiful pattern. This is by Primrose Cottage. I've only got one of these and it's called Hive Rules and it's absolutely gorgeous. The colours are stunning. Look at those golds, yellows, greens. Look, I mean, look, it's just absolutely beautiful. One of my favourite colours is yellow. It's such a, it's such a, for, for me, it's such a happy colour. Really, really beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. So this is one that I'm doing with her. Um, I'm doing this one on 32 count, two over two. I have started it. So I know it's technically cheating, but you haven't seen it yet because I've only just started it. So I thought I would pop this into the mix as well. Otherwise, you might be asking questions that when I bring it out with my next update is to say, oh, hang on a minute, that's a new star. The only thing is, is because the, the pattern is in colour, <laughs> it gets really confusing. So, but the great thing is, is that like all of the little individual bits. Um, so like, for example, like the B, I will do the B and I won't cross it off because I know that I've done the B and then I'll just work on to the next bit because there isn't a huge amount I don't feel like I have to go and mark off what I've done because I can kind of see what I've done. So I'm doing this one on Sparkle Snow, 32 count, two over two. And yeah, I'm doing that one with Tara from one stitch at a time. Oh, that's it, not on its own. I'm just sticking for the plastic sleeve then. Okay, so I've got two Mirabilias. One you might have seen previously because I have been, I'm still waiting for the fabric for this. I've ordered it in um, Sprint, 28 count. The reason I've ordered 28 count is because the beads, it's recommended that if you're gonna use beads that you do it on 28 count because sometimes it can be quite tight on 32 count. So this one is um, Roses of Province. Why did I forget that? So yeah, the fabric I've ordered from, oh, I can't even remember now, it's been so long. I, f I swear I, I feel like I've been waiting for the fabric for about a year, but it is sparkly, which I loved. So it's like the Picture This Plus Sprint in like opalescence, because I just thought it would do, it would just give it another, you know, because there's quite a lot of fabric. 
surrounding it I just thought it would give it another edge and make it look really really pretty I am still waiting for the fabric on that one so until that arrives I'm not going to be able to start that one anyway that's all kitted up I've got all the beads uh, doing that one on the CXC threads um, so yeah I just got to wait for the fabric to arrive now right this next Mirabilia you haven't seen but I am doing this one as a stitch along with Teresa Little Stitcher and the Sal hashtag is Teresa made me do it I think no that doesn't sound right anyway I think the Facebook page is Teresa made me do it and the Sal is called um, I can't remember I'm really sorry I can't I actually haven't got a clue right now but this one is one of two and it is called um, it's called useless royal games one. Oh, my bad it's not a mirabilia it's a nora oh yeah it is i'm so confused right it's a mirabilia and it's um artwork is by nora corbett and yeah so there's two of these i've got the first one i'm doing this one on 32 count two over two and the skin I decided to do one over one because I haven't got enough to do and yeah so I've done so far um, I've done the heart but can you see around the edge you've got that light bit that's that's all beads <laughs> I've never beaded this is gonna this is my first mirabilia and I haven't beaded so but I thought the colors in this were really beautiful and I didn't think it was absolutely massive and yeah so so far I've done the heart <laughs> and a tiny tiny bit of her face and that's about it so the stitch along is coming along really well it never was it was never going to be something that I was ever going to really finish this year or probably not next year either but hey ho okay um the blue flower one of these i got this from that brick cross stitch place again you know when you walk into these cross stitch places and you know they're quite small delicate little boutique -y shops i just feel like i need to buy more than one thing so i i kind of went all out for some patterns just because it made me feel better that i'd spent some money and you know helping them along so the blue flower this is called acorns love the colorway on this this is going to be another one that i stitch in the autumn again going on the theme of a, a nice small sampler so that i might actually finish it um oh what's interesting is if have you look at if you have a look at the um blue so look at this and then this this the letters look like they are done with variegated floss and I love that that's really exciting hang on a second how did I not spot that bear with I need to check this out so where's my key oh dear oh god oh hang on um okay that's great it doesn't even show me on the key what color that is mm. well this is going to be fun to do it's like a half moon th oh yeah st bernard cc classic color works and then the rest are weak dye works so i might have to do these as is there are another couple um that i'm doing that i'm using the cold floor floss the mpis they are um so wdw is weeks dye works and cc are classic color works never used these before um you can sub for dmc but do you know what i think actually it'll be really nice to do this in the cold floor colors so yeah 926 stroke 501 that definitely looks like it's variegated does that look like it's variegated to you 
that look, oh it's such a beautiful variegation thread thread blah, blah, blah. put my teeth back in okay so when i get around to doing that i'll do a little bit more research on um on what that color is and if anyone's done it if they would like to just let me know and tell me what they did that would be fab i'd appreciate that one right okay so now we're on to Hades. I might need um, a bit of refreshment for this one. Um, talk has gone cold now. Okie dokie. I'm just going to come all out. I've got 18 of these buggers. Right, so the first one is um, Grace Face 1, which is a quick stitch. This one is on the back end of the grace phase two that i'm actually still doing um the colors are beautiful but it's very blue very very blue i mean i guess that's not a bad thing because it does mean that there might be a little bit more of a block color rather than um you know too much confetti so this is artwork by josephine wall and it's charted obviously by heaven and earth designs so yeah very very pretty that's the first one okay this one is my nemesis because i really really want to start this one and raise your hands if you want me to start this one as well and um put a comment in the comments if you want me to start this one but if you don't start it then you're not going to finish it are you so a stitch in time beautiful this one is match color match Ma max color I didn't get the um, super size only because I couldn't get super size on my omenic frame and I want to do this one on an omenic frame so I'm probably gonna do this one 20 count one over one because I love 20 count one over one um, yeah I'm not gonna have an issue with this if I went to the only other color I would do it in is 18 count but I worry thing is my frame it's pushing it the frame that I've got is pushing this one anyway um I've literally got an inch each side I think so I'm not going to go down I'm not going to be able to go down to 18 count but oh look at it it's so beautiful I really want to start that one because if I don't start it I'm not going to finish let me know what you think let me know if i should start that one so i'm going to pick out a couple that i want to start and then i want you guys to comment which one you think i should start and i will count all the count all of the um comments um and then yeah so we'll do that one can be a stitch in time the lion just put the lion because that's one that i really want to start um, this is another Heaven and Earth design by Ash Evans. It's really pretty. I, I love foxes. And that's why I, I just absolutely... I've got this love-hate relationship with hunting. I love the um, traditional side of hunting in the UK. But I absolutely do not like the fact that they think it's okay to hunt animals that are, you know creatures of gods that have a right to live as much as anyone else um so i saw this one because i absolutely loved it this one is a ornament it's called ornament, ornament peonies by ash evans um so yeah i i love the, the whole tweed thing and you know i love all aspects of hunting apart from actually hunting an animal um but i have a particular love and fondness fondness for foxes because i think they're beautiful absolutely love foxes okay my next one is okay i'm gonna have to let me try and find the other one one sec so this is one that i bought and then i realized that there was a super size version <coughs> so yeah of course i did i went and bought the super size version because that's what you do when you clearly have a load of time on your hands um so story keep life is an open book london 
Um, okay, that's the regular. And that's the supersized. Now, I'm not sure if you see much difference. I mean, you potentially, when it's done, I'm, I'm guessing you're going to see a difference. Um, but because there is quite a lot going on in this one, I, I'm going to do the supersize one because I'm mad. And, um, uh, yeah, I get really, I get really gutted when I start a project and then I realize, oh, there was a bigger version. Maybe I should have gone for that because the detail would be better with, um, with that, we've taken out this one because I have a size frame for that one and I don't wanna, I'm not a fan of doing, I'm not a fan of Q-snaps. Well, I don't mind Q-snaps. I'm just not a fan of loads of fabric. So I'm doing one called Bansful Bookshelf, which if you haven't seen it, if you didn't see it in the last video, which you might've done, I think, cause I'll try and touch that every month cause it's, it's like 999 stitches by 500 stitches and it's super size and max color. It's humongous. Um, yeah, I have got that on a Q snap and I, the amount of fabric that I've got left over that I'm having to kind of, you know, roll up. But the thing is, it's so difficult to roll up because you roll it one way, but you can't then roll it the other because the edges don't roll very well. Um, so I'm really, really struggling with that one. So yeah, I'm also not enjoying stitching it because of that reason. I much, I much prefer to stitch um, projects that are on frames, like proper frames, or in a Q snap, and there's like hardly any fabric left over. I don't mind rolling up a little bit and then you know putting those like magnetic, you know, ties on and things. It's just when you have so much fabric, it just doesn't for me doesn't make it enjoyable. So I'm gonna keep one of those. I've put both of those in, in the one, and then, cause I'm running out of these as well. So I need them for another project. Right, um, okay, the next one is, I, I fell in love with this one when I saw it, and now I'm like, mm, I'm not sure. I don't know. So this one is by Dominic Davison. I don't know if that's a V or a B. Um, it's called Window with a View Max Colors. It's very, very pretty. I saw it and loved it, so bought it, as you do. This reminds me of um, Jane Austen, Pride and Prejudice. You know, it's got that very beautiful, sort of traditional big garden, big estate uh, about it. Um, but yeah, so I got the Max colors because I, you know, I think Max colors would make it look a little bit better, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm always undecided about whether Max Colors really makes much difference, but um, I think the original reason I bought it is because I love the pink curtains and I thought that they would look really nice in my master suite. Not the curtains, the picture. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I mean, all I can see in this is the amount of confetti in the trees. I <laughs> uh, yeah. Mm. It's gonna take a long time to get through that one. Okay, right, the next one is Grey's Face 3 Quick Stitch by Josephine Wall. So I've got all three of them now. I've got one, two, and three. I'm 84% through two. And this was another one that I thought, well, I bought the set, but I actually really love the second one more so. The colors on the second one really speak to me. Um, not so much on this one or the other one. So I don't even know. I'm not really sure at this point if I'm even gonna do it. I don't know, we'll see. Okie dokie. So the next one is a Randall Spangler. I don't have any Randall Spanglers. No, I don't. And when I saw this, I oh, don't know, this really, struck sort of magic for me and even if I don't end up having kids I might end up fostering or whatever um I, I'll probably have kids coming and going but this one is called Train of Dreams by Randall Spangler and I love it absolutely love it look at the colors I think this is oh, I think it's just a normal size one um 
I just think that would be so much fun to stitch. Look at all those colours. And the, this, unfortunately, the picture isn't doing it justice because when you look at it in front of you, it's so much more vibrant. Like, if you can imagine those colours, like, ten times more vibrant. And it's just gorgeous. And I, I don't know. I might... Oh, I don't know. That's another one that I'm umming and ahhing about starting. So I'm going to leave that one to the side. I think there's four that I need you guys to help me decide what I'm going to do. Um, okay, so the next one is... Oh, no, there's five, actually. The next one is... Life, Life is an open book, London. But this isn't the story keep this time. This is the whole blooming thing. Um... I think I saw the story keep first and then I saw this one and I was like, oh my goodness, that's like massive. Um, so I'm trying to do this so I don't look a bit dodgy, peep around the corner. Um, London, I mean, yeah, there we are. So yeah, I'm not sure about this one either at the moment. Um, very pretty. I think it's one of those things, I think is there's so much in there that's London with regards to um, the double-decker bus, the telephone box, you know, Queen's Guards. Um, oh, look, tube station, like tube, um, tube train. Um, oh, look, Queen Tees. So it's like, oh, it's so absolutely beautiful. And then what is that, London? I don't know what that is. Oh, airmail, okay. So, and then obviously, you know, you've got the Big Ben and the London Eye, um, the Crown Jewels, Queen's Crown Jewels, which are in the Tower of London, um, which are now the King's, King's Crown Jewels, because we no longer have a Queen. So, yeah, again, that's one that I would like, I would, if I had no stitching to do and I had loads of time, it's probably one that I'd get out, but I'm not really sure at the moment. Okay, so the next one, this is one that I'd really, really like you to help me decide on whether to stitch it or not. It's called Peacock Days Max Colours. Um, this is another Josephine Wall. So if you have been with me for a while, you'll know that I'm doing Peacock Love, which is a quick stitch, which is this bit here, which is coming out absolutely beautiful. But I saw this and I loved it. Again, the picture's not doing it justice. You know, you've got all these beautiful pinks around here and all these yellows and these blues and these greens, all these purples. It's just gorgeous. Just gorgeous. And that's another one that I feel like I really want to work on. So I'm going to put that to the side as well. Okay. So the next one is Faithful Friends by Donna Gelsinger. Um, again, this is more of a seasonal one. I absolutely love this one. I, I just look at it and think, oh, that's going to be so much block colour in that, which I love. So it'll be quite a quick stitch. So that might be one that I start at Christmas. It's going to be between, be between that one and one other. And I will show you what the other one is. But yeah, Donna Gelsinger... I've got quite a lot of her patterns now, and I, I do love her patterns. I think she's great. Um, yeah, such a beautiful pattern. Okay, so the next one, again, I bought the Story Keep and then realised that there was like a, a bigger version. So this one is by Amy Stewart, Life is an Open Book Paris. Um, this one doesn't jump at me, I'm not going to lie. I think the fact that the Story Keep was done um is is fantastic because it's probably the most interesting bit out of all of this i'm not really sure it's difficult though isn't it because you know you've got your coffee there and um those weird things that i never i never really liked um but yeah i got book um sunflowers yeah really i mean it's very pretty very very colorful the books are nice. I like I like the books. I didn't see those before. Realised that there was loads of books, but yeah. So not sure on that one. It's not shouting at me. 
This one is the other Christmas one that is shouting at me. So it would be a toss up between this one and that faithful friends. Uh, this is a Ruth Sanderson called Christmas Doorway. Absolutely love this one. So yeah, absolutely gorgeous. Going to be, like I said, a toss up between this one and that other Santa one going down a chimney. I think it's beautiful. This just reminds me of like a traditional English house. Or American actually, because we don't have shutters on any other windows. That's like not a thing at home. So, but the door looks very like English, but this could be American or English. Um, very, very pretty. I love the fact that you guys have shutters on all your windows here. I think it really adds a little bit to the house. I think it's beautiful. Okay. <sighs> Where are we at time? Oh, 50 minutes. Okay, I'm gonna get a move on. Oh. So the next one is an Amy Stewart. It's called a quick stitch, a stitch in time balloon day. And I think the colors of this called to me. They're really, really beautiful. Um, as you can tell, I love all the purples and pinks. Gorgeous. Uh, Amy Stewart this is. So yeah, I mean, I've got this one and I'm doing one, a, a, sweet, a sweet life. I've got this one and then there's another one I'm going to show you. So I feel like by the time I get them done, I've pretty much, with all the little bits that I'm doing of that um, a stitch in time, because I'm also doing the ornament of the bit in the middle as well. So I've got the ornament which I'm working on of this bit here on one of my projects. So I feel like with everything I'm working on, you know, I'm kind of doing all bits and bobs of it, but I'm not actually going to end up um, doing the whole thing, but doing the whole thing in bits like this. So, yeah. But I think it's nice because I can have these over in different areas of the house. So that again would be like, that would go either in my room or my, or my guest room, one of the um, other guest rooms. So yeah, I mean, it's, it can go anywhere really. Okay, so the next one is Donna Galsinger, Merry and Bright Max Colours. Again, a very beautiful Christmassy one. It spoke to me because that for me is, is my perfect Christmas. Big roaring fire, massive Christmas tree, beautiful garland going up the stairs. You know, that speaks to me. That is, in a nutshell, that's my Christmas. Absolutely love it. Really nice stockings on the... On the um, mantle of the fireplace just gorgeous and the tree's been done really nicely as well yeah Donna Gelsinger okay we've only got one, two, three left so we might be done in under an hour I'm not sure yet but we might be okay so the next one is another Donna Gelsinger and it's called Snowman Snuggles. This is another beautiful project. Um, yeah, this isn't max color or anything like that. It's just as is. Um, yeah, Donna Gelsinger. Haven't started that one yet. But we'll see how it goes. And I'm going to do Christmas in July, so I might start one of my other Christmases then. Um, okay, so this is, oh, another Randall Spangler. So I said I haven't started one yet, because I haven't, that's not a complete lie. But I do have another Randall Spangler. And this one is called Trick or Treat 2. Um, this one spoke to me. I absolutely love this one. I've not started it yet. I would like to start it. But they're just so big, aren't they? Oh, just so so big so beautiful but so big and i love that one and that for me is like everything halloween um yeah it's beautiful okay last but not least i've probably saved the best for last because i came across this not very long ago um when did i pick this up i think last week there wasn't even a sale i just saw it and i was like oh my goodness I thought the, um, so this is a Syro Marchetti and I thought that he just um, 
redesigned this or there was someone who asked either him or Michelle to change the artwork so it was a lot brighter and um, she I don't know who it was now but she posted on the heaven and earth designs and she said like basically you can't copy this but this is what I've had done and I was so jealous I was like oh my goodness me if I could buy that I would do that one because it's gorgeous the colors are amazing so this is it's about time by Syro Machete but oh the colors oh my goodness I am dying to do this one this is one that I'm like I want to do this one the colors are gorgeous again I'm probably going to do this one I might do this one on 18 count two over one I'm not sure but again you've got the gorgeous um greens and you've got the purples and the blues and purple and green and sort of yellows and blues and purple and reds and it just is stunning absolutely stunning so um i'm going to keep that one out keep that one out this one um this one and then i need to try and find the other one that I wanted to do and it's definitely in an orange thing because it's a lion and it's very orange okay so right you're gonna have to choose a new a new um pattern for me to start as I've put this out there I thought do you know what I'm gonna start a new pattern I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to start it before my next update I've got some flosses coming from China um, as you know, I use CXE. Um, it depends on the fabric, what fabric I've got, how much I've got of it, and um, whether I'm going to have all the colours. So, so the first one to choose is potentially Train of Dreams. So, if you just put in the comments, Train of Dreams, that's the first one because that is speaking to me. Train of Dreams. The next one is It's About Time. That's this one. Um, the next one is a stitch in time match max blah, max color. And the next one is peacock days max color. You can tell that I'm all for the color, can't you? Like there is just this like pattern going through of you know the projects that I love, the artwork that I love. And then last but not least, Lion. Oh, sorry. So yeah, so Lion, Peacock Days, A Stitch in Time, It's About Time, and Train of Dreams. So please pick your, your one that you prefer me to do, that you'd like to see me um, work on because I can't decide and you know sometimes it's nice to do something that you know you want to see being stitched um, let me just put these away quickly that one goes in there um, that one goes in there One goes in there, and then that one goes in there. So that is it. I am done with my pattern parade. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please give me a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. And if you would like to subscribe, please do so. And then you can follow me on my journey. Never miss a video. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for, um, for checking in with me, guys. And thank you to all of my... Um, well, lifelong uh, subscribers, friends, you know, my subscribers are becoming friends rather than just subscribers. You know, sometimes I'll have a proper chat with people and it's just really, really nice. So yeah, if you would, if that's something you're interested in and you would like to, um, to see more, then I would appreciate you um, pressing that subscribe button and I will see you in my next video. Thanks guys. Bye.